Reek kills Monet. Kane kills the Reek. All right, I'm in. What do we do? Put two through the window and drive off. It was Tariq. I'm a killer. Tariq gotta go. I don't know if Tariq is the shooter. Stick to a fucking story. It was Tariq. Thought you got away with him, motherfucker? Diana saw you, Tariq. You tried to kill our mother. <laughs> Been wanting to do this for a long time. Welcome back Top Notch Gang to another video and as we all know last week we got some huge announcements in the Power Universe of course the new book 5 Power Origins the story of Ghost and Young Tommy so I made a whole video about that of what the storyline is going to be the inclusion of Amari Hardwick and of course Joseph Sakura. so you go check that out for all the details of that but then we also got the gigantic reveal that Power Book 2 Ghost Season 4 will be the last and final season and will be premiering June 7th, a two-parter, 20 episodes. The second half is premiering in September. And with all that information and with the teaser, we have a few clues and details of what's going to take place. And I think we all know that a major to hide a debt is definitely coming. So in this video, we're going to dive into all three of the Tahada children, those being Kang, Drew, and Diana, and talk about the possibilities of them dying, who would it be, how it takes place, and everything like that. Because from what we've seen in the teaser trailer, that scream from Monet, yeah, somebody got body. So let's just go ahead, like I said, and dive into all the clues, details of that. As usual, you guys can leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know any other predictions you want to see before the new season of Power Book 2 goes. Or if you want it to be on a specific character, leave that all down below. But let's get right into the death of the Tejada family. Now, to quickly run through the chain of events that happened in season three, of course, when Monet, upon finding out it was Lorenzo who shot and killed Zeke, she wanted that nigga gone. So she made a plan with Gordo, Drew's boyfriend, who wanted revenge for his dad dying. And of course, he pinned it all on Lorenzo. And because of this, he of course took out Lorenzo for her. And now she needed to cover her tracks. So she wanted that nigga gone as well. So she set another plan in motion, taking out Kai and having Drew take out his own boyfriend so that they could never find out it was her. But of course now, Drew and Diana being nosy, gaining more information, they found out or come to the conclusion that she possibly had something to do with it. So they approach her along with Kane and she reveals that yes she did do it that lorenzo killed zeke and everything like that and this being the last and final straw drew and diana come up with a plan to get to reek to take out monet once and for all so that the both of them could be free now of course this plan went completely left because diana leaked the information of where reek's mom was to tommy and with tommy going after her this causes tasha to spin the block on monet thinking she was the one who did it so she shoots up monet just as diana is having second thoughts and doesn't want to go through with the plan anymore but it's way too late and now with her knowing it wasn't Tariq that did this, she's telling Drew it wasn't, and he's like, fuck that, he has to go down. Someone has to go down for this, and it's not gonna be us. So they tell Kane it was Tariq, and now they all come up with a big plan to go to Noma behind his back, and now they're gonna take him out. And just when we think it's over for our boy Tariq, that's when Brayden pops out, and he saves him, and they ride off into the sunset at the end of season three. Now that that's out the way, we can start with Diana and Drew together because it was their plan. And then we'll talk about Kane in his own section. So Diana and Drew, like I just explained, came up with that whole entire plan shit completely failed so i think going into season four they're going to be scrambling to try to cover their tracks to try to make sure Tariq can't prove that it was them and get everything under control now i expect them to all be in the hospital and monet to wake up we know she's going to be fine like we just 
seen in a teaser trailer we of course saw the leaked picture of her and a new detective so she's gonna be good we see a few scenes of both of them in a trailer one specifically of diana over these candles looks like she's praying or at a visual or something like that some people are already speculating this takes place after possibly kane or true dies and this is her grieving over them so they think this means she survives but also this could take place very early on and could be showcasing when she's even lorenzo that would make more sense in my opinion so i'm not gonna just go straight out the window and say this takes place after one of her brothers died but we also see a scene of drew and monet they look like they're at her bar they talk they had a conversation and drew is walking away now drew he looks like like i said he's trying to keep things hidden keep things hiding him more so than diana wanted her gone he wants her dead diana when they got in the car she was having second thoughts she was about to bring monet back inside so i think drew is going to be the one pressing the issue of how bad they got to keep this under wraps if he might be the one who tells her that they need to try again they need to cover all this up he's going to be the one pushing the issue and i think that's why we also get a clip of the trailer of both of them running away we don't know where they're running away from or to or what took place anything like that but if we're gonna speculate i think like i said they're covering their tracks and it's gonna get to a point where they're in too deep and they're surrounded they're about to get caught and the last scene for them that is showcased in the trailer well technically we don't know if it's them but Tariq is pointing a gun and someone is pointing it back now this seems like it's possibly taking place in a tahai the house and he's finally about to reveal the truth about everything and drew is trying to stop him from doing that he's about to let monet know drew and diana the whole thing that happened now if this is what takes place i find this interesting because i initially thought that monet is gonna want to talk to Tariq. i don't think she believes right away he did this shit because if we're being honest Tariq is the only one who always came through for her who always had her back who never really betrayed or fucked over them got them out of a lot of tough spots so i expect them to at least have a conversation instead of her just believing he did that shit but i do think this moment of the gun being pointed back and forth i think monet is here in the scene Tariq is about to expose them and drew is possibly trying to stop that from happening i think we could possibly see a circumstance where diana flips the whole shit on drew i think drew is a character everyone expected to die this season now would it be in the last season it definitely is still possible but i think they'll go for more of a surprise and of course diana and kane are more of a surprise and will hit way harder people have been wanting true to die i don't think it would be crazy if he does but he's still on the chopping block he's at the top of everyone's list for sure so i could see circumstances where true pushes the issue too hard for diana and diana decides she can't take it no more and she ultimately gives him up or she's not going along with his plan anymore and drew was the one that of course monet and lorenzo were okay with taking over the family business and they kind of set him up in that way so seeing her scream like this it can possibly be true in this scene and of course that just leaves us with crash out kane to talk about now i actually just dropped a whole video on kane and all his storylines i expect to happen in season four so you go check that out if you want all the details and i mentioned in the intro of that video i thought kane was gonna die in season four and the funny thing about all that is i recorded that video prior to this being announced as the last season and i had to delay its release date but to talk about the new teaser trailer and of course the new book origin show and everything like that so now that we here i could talk about Kane's death now i fully expect him to die this season for sure now now that it's the last season i don't think this nigga makes it out alive the whole beef between him and Tariq since season one it all escalated to this point he been one to kill him and now he has more reason than ever to do so I think he'll be so fixated on that and he has so many other distractions around him I think in the teaser they showed him with Effie once again he's still worried about her even though she dubbed him in season three so he's just distracted he doesn't have his eyes on the prize he for sure is one of the death this season now is it necessarily getting caught up in the true and diana situation i don't know we see another scene take place in the trailer where we see Tariq pull the trigger on somebody that's down on the ground 
I can see this being Kane. I can see Tariq taking him out once and for all. We can also see in the teaser trailer for some reason Kane in a fight ring. Like bro doing UFC side quest and shit now. I don't know what's going on and taking place in this scene while he's participating in this. Maybe it's for information. Maybe it's for money. I don't know. Maybe it's for Effie. Like I said, he's still on her trail. I don't know if this is a hot take or not. You guys can let me know down below in the comments. But I always believe they ruined Kane's character and he to like his best forms was when he was the one who found out that lorenzo took out zeke or he was the one that knew that monet had something to do with lorenzo's death but every time he found out this information or looked into it he never really did much with it or never escalated to the point where it felt like he was in control or he was smart or anything like that everyone is always able to use and manipulate him in a way they see fit to help their own circumstances and i don't see how with this being a final season that changes how he becomes drastically different how he fixes all these problems he's in too deep like i said he's fixated on Tariq. that he wanted to be the one to pull that trigger we saw him in that warehouse and he's gonna be gunning for Tariq the entire season i think that's gonna be his main focus and he's gonna be in for a rude awakening but if you just want full details go check out my crash out game video Overall, that's it for this video. You guys can leave your thoughts and opinions down below of which of the Tahada family members do you believe is gonna die in the final season? I don't know. It honestly can be multiple of them, but we know for sure one of them is locked in based off the Monet scene. I could see Drew and Kane dying. I think everybody expects Drew to die or has been expecting him to die. I think they go for more shock value and that puts Kane on the chopping block. He also is a character that I just don't see surviving, like I said. Another thing people keep mentioning is there's gonna be new spinoffs after this one, a Kane spinoff with Effie and all. Bro, that makes no sense. Why not just continue this show instead of doing another spinoff? It makes absolutely no sense to do another spinoff this is their most watched show just stop but yeah that's my opinion i like to hear y'all's down below on who you think gonna die and don't even have to be a tahada family member you could put anybody else down below in the comments and also once again you could drop comments on anything else you would like to see me talk about leave a like subscribe and i'm out